So drivers have to be very careful now with the gravel and rock strat. Oh, we've got a blow up there. Oh, and, and the what a terrible place to have one too. And, uh, and Conrod straight at absolute top speed. And it's the Bob Jane car. It may just be the oil filter. They've done that before. Yes. Pete Gagan's big brawny right fist out the window. They'll be having the filter ready. He did it twice yesterday. If that's all it is, it won't stop them very long. But they've got some pressurising problem. And we also have a great dice for the lead going on here to... Uh, well, for second place, rather, with uh, Grice and Moffat. There's Gagan going into the pits. It's, it's happening all around the circuit. In the pits, the action with uh, Gagan up the track with Moffat and Grice locked in this desperate struggle for second place. It's still very early days with only 27 laps covered, but Moffat doesn't want a man between himself and Colin Bond, and Grice doesn't want to let the lead get too far away. Alan Grice, a very determined driver, just in front of Alan Moffat, under the greatest pressure one could imagine. Car 10 fairly close behind is Jim Richards in the Falcon. He's had a delay in the pitch with valve trouble, but he's back out there going quickly. In the meantime, it looks like the oil filter being changed. There'll be some burnt hands there from the, from the crew. Yes, it's the oil filter being unscrewed. They scream, shout for oil. They want to prime the oil filter and add oil that will drip out when they uh, are changing it. But that's all it is, that persisting problem with the oil filter, which blows its gasket. And while they struggle to change, up on top of the mountain, of course, the leaders are drawing further and further away. Alan Grice still with a determined Moffat on his tail. One of the little Mazers gets the fright of his life as the Grice car comes sliding round behind him. Bond still in front. This is the race for second place, but what a race.